So when you take when you do genre improv like like you guys do, what what are what are the because I think for me I, I'm intimidated by it. What are the similarities between that and doing just a regular long form, like say a Harold or a montage? Well, um, with a Harold or a montage, you can sort of, in my my opinion, it's it, it, you're riffing off of uh, off of whatever the monologues were in the front, and there's. Um, you can go off on tangents, what have you. You don't necessarily have to remain a character for two hours or 90 minutes or whatever it is, um, uh, which is great. Um, you know, it, that form of improv is terrific. I think we, we had all experienced multiple types of improv and really wanted to use the skills we learned in drama school to apply to the work we were doing as improvisers. And, well, you know, the original company members all uh, were professional actors, you know, and they did do comedy and they did do drama. Um, and when we started doing Shakespeare, we just found it to be, yeah, it was very intimidating, uh, but we were used to, just to back up, we were used to doing short form genre stuff like somebody say you know do a scene in the style of tennessee williams and so we'd mention bourbon humidity and mendacity you know it was it was always the same thing there wasn't there wasn't any substance to it so in the late 90s uh we started going well let's rehearse this stuff let's read let's read some shakespeare together let's learn how to improvise a sonnet let's uh, figure out what the difference is between blank verse and rhyming verse um and got to a place where, you know, just like jazz, we learned the saxophone, we practiced the scales, and then we'd go and do the genre. And sometimes people would screw up in the, in the genre, but we just made it part of the thing. We tried not to, and we still try not to make modern day references inside of it. Um, but, you know, different strokes for different folks. I think the, the group that improvises Austin at Edinburgh and in the West End, ostentatious. I think they're much more witty and clever, and and do um, incorporate modern uh, referencing. Uh, at least that's what I know secondhand. So I may be wrong about that, but I know they're really talented. But where whereas when we do Jane Austen, we're really trying to do something that if Jane Austen was sitting in the audience, she would recognize as being of of her world. Um, so that's that's one of the reasons why we chose literary genres is it was something that we could really study, 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 and then do something that that person never wrote. Jimmy, Jimmy Corain, Jimmy Corain's a nerd. Jimmy Corain's an improv nerd. Jimmy Corain's a nerd. Oh, Jimmy. Jimmy Corain's a nerd. Jimmy, 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 Jimmy Corain's an improv nerd. Jimmy Corain's a nerd.